Uh, I'm on the camera now. You're gonna be famous. For real? Yeah. Yeah, yeah totally, dude. <laughs> Meet Cameron Blake. Okay, how to get the lines? Okay, so hover, see where that arrow is pointing to, that little rectangle at the bottom? I'll move over a little bit more and we'll turn it into a box. Okay, look, no, don't look. There you go. So you want to turn it into that? Okay. There you go. Alright, now try. Did it vibrate? Okay, now it's working. Now try hitting it. There you go. Okay. Awesome. So now when you hit B, it should make the other sound. Awesome. And now you also see how the line now is like that light blue instead of being that black. That's just because when it goes, when it starts sending sound between the two objects, um, it changes to that blue so that you know that now there's sound that you're working with and it's not just the Wiimote information. Now hit A. There you go. So every time you hit A, it's basically sending the, the Wiimote is connected there, sending its information there, and uh, this will just, it's only listening for when you hit a button and you chose A. So every time you hit A, it's going to make this sound play, but you're not going to be, not going to be able to hear it until it goes into the output here because now it's going to send the sound that you're making through this effect and then send it out through the sound. Okay. to the top there. Cool, now you should be connected. So now I'll start moving it. Come look at mine. And now I've just got a couple that it's going into. How'd you do that? Mm -hmm. And then put it into the air also. So, uh, now move the Wiimote around. There you go. Leave it there. Now move the Wiimote. And you hear how it like stays as an echo after you do that and you use that effect? Now see how quietly you can play that. The slower you move, the quieter it'll be, and the faster you move, the louder it'll be. And you can kind of you can kind of vary it by going like really really slow.